Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, circle with the center O fully inscribed uh, in a trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, E, F, G and uh, H uh, are the points of tangency and 4 pi centimeter square is the area of this uh, green shaded uh, circle. And moreover, this side length uh, AD is uh, 5 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. Before we do anything, we must find the radius uh, of this uh, green shaded uh, circle first. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. And in our case, uh, the area of this circle has been given to us as uh, 4 pi. So therefore, I can fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. I can write down 4 pi equal to pi times uh, r square and now we are going to divide both sides by pi so this pi and pi is gone likewise this pi and pi is gone as well so our r square value turns out to be equal to 4 now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our radius r turns out to be positive to centimeter so thus the radius uh, of this uh, green circle turns out to be 2. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, these uh, points of tangency F uh, and uh, H. And now let's recall this uh, crucial factor. The centers uh, and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder these uh, points uh, F uh, center O and this point uh, H uh, lie on the very same line. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent uh, will always be 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, AFH is going to be 90 degree angle since this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OF uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, circle and likewise uh, O H is the radius R as well. So therefore this whole uh, diameter F H is going to be 2 times uh, R. And we know our radius R is 2. So therefore this diameter F H is going to be 2 times 2 is going to give us uh, 4 centimeter. And likewise uh, this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, circle as well. So therefore uh, this uh, hc is also going to be equal to radius r and likewise fb is going to be radius r as well and we know our radius is 2 so therefore this segment length is going to be 2 and likewise this segment length is going to be 2 as well and now let's recall the tangential quadrilateral a convex quadrilateral whose sides are all tangent to a single circle inside the quadrilateral now we can see that this uh, trapezoid ABCD is our tangential uh, quadrilateral since all uh, its uh, sides uh, are tangent to this uh, inscribed uh, circle as you can see over here. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD by using the Pitter's uh, theorem. And this theorem can only be applied only on uh, tangential quadrilaterals. And indeed, uh, this uh, trapezoid is our tangential quadrilateral. And now let's go over the Pitter's uh, theorem. In a tangential quadrilateral, the sum of uh, its two opposite uh, sides are always equal. In other words, uh, our these two opposite uh, side lengths uh, AB and this side uh, CD, as I wrote down, AB plus CD must be equal to the other two side lengths, uh, this uh, side length uh, BC and this side length uh, AD. 
as you can see on the right hand side AD plus BC. Now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, diameter length uh, FH is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, BC. If this side length is 4, then this uh, BC length is going to be 4 as well. And now let's assume that this uh, whole uh, AB length uh, is being represented by lowercase uh, a and this uh, side uh, CD is being represented by lowercase uh, b. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pitts uh, formula. AB length uh, in our case uh, is uh, lowercase a, CD length uh, is uh, lowercase b, our AD length uh, is uh, 5 as you can see over here and our uh, BC length uh, is 4 so I'm going to put down 4 over here so therefore our A plus B value turns out to be equal to 9 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height H uh, times uh, a plus B all over 2 and in our case uh, our height uh, of this uh, trapezoid uh, is uh, 4 so therefore uh, H value is going to be 4 and this side uh, is uh, our base uh, A and this uh, opposite side is our base uh, B so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula our height uh, H uh, is 4 times uh, A plus uh, B all over 2 and we know our a plus b value is 9 so therefore we are going to substitute uh, that value 9 uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced uh, this a plus b by this uh, 9 and now if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 18 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, trapezoid turns out to be 18 uh, centimeter square by using the Pitts uh, theorem and now let me show you the second method and in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, DP on this uh, line uh, AB and we can see that this uh, diameter FH is going to be equal to this uh, length uh, DP if this is 4 then this uh, length is going to be 4 as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APD and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, this uh, side uh, AP and here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula so our this leg uh, AP square plus uh, 4 square is going to be equal to 5 square and here we simplified it and now we are going to subtract uh, 16 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, a p square turns out to be equal to 9 i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our a p length uh, turns out to be 3 centimeter so thus our uh, this uh, segment uh, a p turns out to be 3 and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, segment uh, length uh, dh and likewise uh, this segment uh, length uh, fp and now let's assume that this uh, segment length uh, is uh, lowercase x then this segment uh, length is going to be lowercase x uh, as well and now let's recall the two tangents uh, theorem according to this theorem if two tangent uh, segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram and here we can see this segment uh, OA is going to be congruent to this segment uh, OB so therefore in our case uh, this uh, segment uh, DH uh, is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, DE if this uh, DH segment is X uh, then DE segment is going to be X uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, length AD is uh, 5 this uh, tiny segment length uh, DE is uh, X so therefore uh, this segment uh, AE length is going to be 
5 minus uh, x and also let's make an observation we can see that this uh, af uh, length is going to be equal to 3 plus x so i can write uh, 3 plus uh, x and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, segment uh, ae is going to be equal to this segment uh, af according to our this uh, two tangent theorem as you can see in this uh, equation ae segment length equals to af and we know our uh, ae length uh, is uh, 5 minus x so i'm going to replace it 5 minus x over here and our this uh, af segment length uh, is uh, 3 plus uh, x as you can see in this uh, next step and now i'm going to move this uh, negative x on the right side and at the very same time i'm going to move this uh, 3 in the opposite direction as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore we are ended up with the 2x uh, equals to 2 let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate x this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 1 centimeter so therefore our this uh, dh length turns out to be 1 likewise uh, fp length is 1 as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, ab side length is going to be equal to 3 plus 1 uh, plus 2 if we add them that is going to give us uh, 6 and likewise uh, this opposite uh, side uh, cd is going to be 1 uh, plus 2 that is going to give us uh, 3 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this trapezoid abcd and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again height uh, h times a plus b all over 2 and in our case the height of this uh, trapezoid uh, h equals to 4 the base uh, this one a equal to 6 and this uh, base uh, b equals to 3 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so our height uh, h is 4 times our a value is 6 uh, plus b value is 3 divided by 2 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 18 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, trapezoid abcd turns out to be 18 uh, centimeter square as well by using this uh, second method thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye